How many people do you need yeah. to ruin your life? Yeah. Just one. Welcome to another episode of Mental Wealth TV. I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology at the WMHI. And I'm Peter Diaz, CEO. And today we're talking about psychopaths, sociopaths, narcissists, and master manipulators. Yes, we are. So, Peter, why do you think this topic has been so interesting to people lately? Well, it's been very popular because I think people are on stage after, you know, almost two years being at home, constant onslaught of the media, getting a lot of information that is contradictory. I think we've, we are tired of being taken for a ride. Mm -hmm. I think that's not a new thing. All of us at some point have been manipulated and taken advantage of. I mean, I remember um, when I was 19, the first car that I bought, uh, I was taken for a ride from the salesman. He basically sold me a second-hand car in good condition, apparently, according to what he said, uh, but almost for the price of a new car. Wow. But, yeah, it took me years to pay it off. So I know what it is like to be taken advantage of. That's not the only time. Many people can relate to that yes. though. We, you know, sometimes we think of narcissists in relationships only, but we're all a little bit narcissistic, to be honest. And, and we, have to, well, we have to control it. Let's back up, quick definition. What is a narcissist? Well, a narcissist basically is a person that is really obsessed with themselves. Yeah. It's all about me, 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 me. You Which know. we kind of all are to a degree. We are. We point. are the yeah. center of our own world. Yeah. So it's normal, it's human to think of myself more than I think of other people. What if we miss the opportunity to be kind and compassionate and to think of others, to be considerate and empathetic? Yeah. Yeah. Then we have missed the richness of the human experience. Plus, we have also become a little bit of a, a, an asshole, you know, we yeah. call it. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to avoid that aspect of things. Yeah. So being with a narcissist, it's not pleasant because you end up giving all the time mm. and never getting anything back. So most of us would like to think that we could spot a narcissist, a psychopath, a manipulator coming, mm. that we wouldn't fall for that. You know, other people fall for that, but not me. It's a common but, misconception. Yeah, I it's, know. It's what? not true. A really good psychopath, you can't see them coming. Mm -hmm. They will make you feel really special. Yeah. And they will make you feel like you are the center of the world. They will change their their likes, what they do, how they dress. They're really good ones. Yeah. You will think that they're really kind and loving because they're changing themselves for you. It could be the first time that you really feel seen yeah. with, with a really good confidence person, a con yeah. man or a con woman. That's By what the it way. means, where it comes from, yeah. yeah. Narcissism and psychopathy belongs to both genders. Yes. You know? Yeah. Uh, I would say there are more psychopaths that are male, but there are more narcissists that are female. That's interesting because a lot of the focus out there is is the other way around. Narcissistic uh, yeah. men is kind of the image that's portrayed out there, but it does work both ways, you're right. Sometimes the last person to realize that is a narcissist yeah. is the narcissist themselves. Yeah. So when you're a narcissist, sometimes you don't even know that you're being a narcissist yeah. until somebody tells you. You know what I think has helps create this big focus on it at the moment I, I have to keep coming back to social media yeah i mean when you look at posting your whole life online in your feed for the whole world to see what i had for breakfast where i went today what i did today yeah. it kind of creates that environment posting the photos of myself look at me yes, you know? very, i'm not so old as you think you kind of think we as a society as people as social animals we could be making the behavior of the psychopath, the sociopath, and the narcissist worse yeah. because we seem to be interested in what they do. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good that we recognize yeah. who they are yeah. so we can watch our own behavior so we don't feed their psychopathy, we don't feed their sociopathy, we don't yeah. feed the narcissism. And we can protect ourselves can protect at the ourselves. same time and that's why the course was put together so yeah. people could become aware of those strategies that are being used so you can look after yourself and spot it coming before you find yourself in the midst of, yeah. of the problems that it can create. What kind of problems have you seen it create when people aren't aware of those strategies? that are well, being used against them? First of all, you're in danger because you don't know the level of psychopathy of this person if you're feeling that you're being taken advantage of. Mm. A lot of people that feel that they are yeah. being taken advantage of 
are actually doing the taking the advantage of other it's people. It's the other way around. It's the other yeah. way around. Yeah. So an immature person will always think that everything happens to them yeah. and they're not aware of how the they're doing. Yeah. Go to someone you respect yeah. that doesn't tell you always what you want to hear. Somebody that can, can talk to you freely and ask them, am I seeing this in the right way? Yeah. If it is true, like uh, we point out in our, in our online course, the what is it called? Psychological self-defense course. We point out what the behaviors of a sociopath and narcissist yeah. are and how you need to respond to each. So with a narcissist, uh, it's very different than with a psychopath. A psychopath mm -hmm. can be very, very dangerous because mm -hmm. a psychopath doesn't care if you die. You know, most psychopaths yeah. won't kill you, but yeah. some of them will. Yeah. It's okay. They, they will not lose any sleep over it. Yeah. So if you find a psychopath, you better know what, what to do because yeah. you need to find out is my life in danger do i can i stay around this person how far do i need to run yeah so you need to you need to do the course yeah. to understand yeah. that if you're dealing with a narcissist a narcissist is more about attention seeking and um, sucking the life energy out of you oh that's not quite so bad yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well it is bad but at a different level yeah. your, your life is not immediately yeah. Uh, yeah. in danger. What you have to be careful with a narcissist yeah. is that they can destroy your reputation very quickly. Yeah. Once you spot those strategies, if yeah. you can stay away from it, great, but what are some tips for if you can't? In the presence of someone that is really dangerous, like a psychopath, what should you do? Run. Yeah. That's the first thing that you need to do, run. Yeah. And if you can't run, be extremely respectful. Do not tell them that they're a psychopath <laughs> and do not tell them that you know that they're a psychopath. Be very careful. I've read studies uh, between 3% or 4% of the population yeah. can be psychopaths. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but that's higher than the threat from COVID. They are Someone, a threat yeah. to your physicality, but they're also a threat to your mental health. These are the kind of people that we call toxic. Yeah. yeah. So if you're in, in a relationship with someone toxic, you need to know how to spot them yeah. and you need to know what to do with them and whether you should stick around. So this knowledge that we're talking about is of paramount importance. So we identify these people early on yeah. and we don't allow them to become yeah. the directors of our life because they love to tell you what to do. They love to dominate. And it's not necessarily about criticizing them, it's just about no. preparing ourselves Absolutely. so that we're able to cope, able to respond appropriately yeah. for our own well-being and our own mental health as well. Well, yes, to protect yourself is very important, but also to protect your, your children if you have them. Yeah. You know, kids are prey to people mm. with bad intention. They need to learn how which of those friends they shouldn't um, be associating friends, with yeah, which ones, and yeah. which ones are telling what, what, what are they called porcupines Porcupine. uh, little <laughs> lies and uh, or big lies you know yeah. they need to learn to to yeah. have discernment around that yeah. so we right. deal with those things in the course great course so, highly recommend it exactly <laughs> we recommend it go and check it out in um, in our website vwmhi.com there's a tab there for online courses and yeah, you, you would like one. it thank you talk soon Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.